just like any normal day of my life. Started off getting a coffee in Los Angeles. A couple hours later, we're in Madrid at Santander Golf Course. Oh, this looks awesome. Yes, it's nice, but it can really bite you. I mean, golf in general can bite me. We have to shoot with Gareth Bale. Team TaylorMade sending us over to Madrid. Gareth Bale on the Eric Anders Lang Show. I'm excited. You're on perhaps the best soccer team, if you don't mind, for yeah. one moment on planet Earth. You're so excited to be talking about golf. Yeah. You got the best driver on the planet. The same driver as Tiger Woods over here, man. Playing a match with Gareth Bale, I never thought I would be saying this. I'm pumped. Good morning, how are you? Uh, I'd just like a coffee, please. Yeah, sure. So, it's my firm belief, and this is not a negative belief, but that life is a series of problems to be solved. And it's our choice on what problems we wanna solve and how. No matter what job you have, or even in life in general, how do you live a happy, meaningful life? It's just more of a question that we spend our lives answering. I believe that's a positive thing. So today's problem is how to get to Madrid to do a shoot with Gareth Bale, and it's Thursday morning. We have to be back by Saturday for a random golf club meetup on Sunday. 27 hours in the air, not including layovers. Including layovers, it's about 32 hours. We're gonna spend 21 hours on the ground, all to get podcasts and a video and a match with Gareth Bale. We're pretty excited. Here we go, flying a third of the way across the world. No big deal. Oh, you got a vlog. Tiny camera. I know, it's, it's so, so tiny, it's GoPro. All right, Thank man, you. Have a, good one. have a good one. Take care. Love the hair. We're the last ones on this plane. That is. Good morning, you guys. Thanks. The greatest thing about a layover is you get to explore different airline lounges, which some days I don't like. Some days I do. Okay, so they have season one, two, three. Oh, they have season four. Very cool. All right, well, I'm not gonna watch that because it feels like I'm working. See you in a bit. It is 9 a.m. and we've got four hours to go to the Brezza car, drive across town in Madrid get some breakfast, take a shower, get some camera set up, and then we're gonna do our interview with Gareth Bale. I just got a notification here that I can check in for my flight leaving Madrid, which is in about 18 hours. It's not a lot of time. I'm tired. <laughs> gonna pick up Ollie, who is the visual mastermind behind all things tailor-made golf, and Trotty, who is the club fitter to the stars, and by that I mean Tiger Woods, and in this case, Gareth Bale. What up, fam? What, what up? What's up? <laughs> With the hoodie. How are you, man? What's up, Chris? Good, good, good to see you, dude. It's dawning on me how big of a deal this is. Real Madrid is the greatest football team in the world hands down. I don't think it is a disrespect to either athlete to compare this guy to Tom Brady, basically. Pretty accomplished golfer in his own right. I think he's off three or four, but athlete. So good player I'm expecting and obviously gonna be flexible and move pretty good. Gareth Bale on the Eric Anders Lang Show. I'm excited. I'm excited for you to be here. I'm excited to be on here. <laughs> I'm excited for me to be here. Some of them in America are gonna wonder which NFL team you're on. <laughs> They're mistaken. <laughs> You're not on an NFL team. You're on perhaps the best soccer team, if you don't mind, for yeah. one moment. Soccer's fun, man. On planet Earth. Can yeah, you, can you say that. that or no? Yeah, of course. You, I, We were saying a little bit before the podcast got started, you're so excited to be talking about golf. Yeah. Started off getting a coffee in Los Angeles. A couple hours later, we're in Madrid at Santander Golf Course. So Santander is a massive bank. 
And this is actually where their headquarters is. That's why there was like a lot of security getting in here, passports, background checks. And basically, you know, the bank's headquarters are here and the owner apparently wanted to be able to play golf pretty easily. So this is their golf course and it's where Gareth plays a lot of golf. Also happens to be a tailor-made facility, which is great. And we're gonna walk into the hitting bay. This is quite the driving range here. I mean, look at this. Yeah, this is great. This will do. I could tell immediately that your good person is not really the full description of you, but you know when you read quotes about you, everyone says you're very down to earth. Yeah, well, I am just a normal person. Just happens to play football in with a lot of people watching. So uh, your my, my friends keep me down to earth. Don't worry about that. <laughs> you can tell though. No, I mean I can tell. There's no air of where's my green room where's my area <laughs> what's the protocol before a match what no, do you do shake hands all the best <laughs> all the best may the best man win may the best man win <laughs> oh, i feel like that's a dig i feel like he's digging at me <laughs> it's genuinely not do you ever get like a speeding ticket and then the cop is like oh i'm sorry you're not you i'm not gonna give you a speeding ticket oh this looks awesome it's nice, but the uh, it can get you. It can really bite you. I mean, it's I mean, cool. golf in general can bite me. Okay, so we're gonna play a match. We haven't. Just, I guess you're gonna we're gonna you're gonna buy some drinks at the end if you lose. I'm gonna buy some drinks at the end if I lose. No problem. I feel like we can do better than that. I feel like we can do better. I, I would say we could play for the new shoes, but you've already got a pair. I have them. <laughs> it's the only thing in my life I do well, we have. Could, we could play for the, the black pair. What size shoe are you? These are ten and a half. We have the same size foot. I'm normally a 10, but in golf you, shoes, I seem to be 10 Your foot is is worth a little more than mine. <laughs> well, the one is. <laughs> is your foot, is the left foot insured? Um, it's it, gotta be. It is, yeah, it is. So we're playing a six hole match. Six holes, just because it's about, the sun's about to go down. And uh, it's just a gentleman's match. Yeah, that's how golf should be played. We're about the same handicap. Mm -hmm. So we'll play straight up. Yeah. I feel like you have the advantage. Why? Um, well, because you're a highly talented professional athlete, uh, you don't have jet lag. I, <laughs> that, I, that, yeah, I'll give I, you that one. I, I was hoping that we could do a handicapped match bet. Oh, I was so I wanted to bet a hundred dollars, and then you would be betting a hundred thousand. That was my goal. <laughs> my Euros, goal. dollars, pounds, I don't care. What about yen? Yen, <laughs> yen. This is good. It's good. You can have your own show. This is good. You can do a YouTube channel. <laughs> All right, so first hole, folks, it's a, looks like a par five. No? Yeah, par five. Okay. So who goes first? Is it's your course? Oh. Yes! <laughs> I want you to go first. You, what's your shot shape? You hit a, you hit a bit of a draw? Um, I like going more straight. Come on, I don't say that. No, I try to Nobody go straight. Nobody says they hit a straight ball. No, I don't hit it. I try <laughs> to hit it. Why? But no, I can I can shape it both ways. But I feel like if I hit it straight and you get a little bit of a fade, you're still in the fairway. If you get a bit of a draw, you're still in the fairway. Tiger doesn't hit a straight ball. No, of course. But I just seem to when I hit my driver well, it goes very straight. Which Unbelievable. Is... He spent most of the podcast talking about how yeah, he thing... desires to hit a straight ball, but he's my, been struggling recently. My miss is left and out of bounds is right. So. Oh, that's great. I play a cut, so I'm good. But my driver. It's been a bit way with him. Oh, you're fine. Yeah. You got the you got the best driver on the planet. I have, but Ty I haven't got the best swing. The on same the driver as Tiger Woods over here, man. Playing a match with Gareth Bale, I never thought I would be saying this. I'm pumped. Oh, that is just murder. That is murder. 
Does golf make you more nervous than football? Yeah. No way. 100%. I'm out of my comfort zone. That's probably why you like it so much. It's like, it's like at some point you, you, you like fell in love with the thrill of football because it's so yeah. exciting. Yeah. And then, now even 80,000 people, it's not as much as a four footer with oh one yeah. person. Four footer is the worst. <laughs> I think I know why you love golf. What, what, what do you, do, do you, is your love of football different or the same? It's definitely, it's different now because it's a job, I guess. This is where golf now is. Like I can go out and just be on my own and just smile. I've got no pressure apart from myself. Just hit a ball, walk to it or drive to it. And just, yeah, just it's just fun. Play with your friends. You can play different games and there's just no pressure, no stress. Do you believe that golf actually helps your football? I do, yeah. <laughs> a lot of people think no. Yeah. <laughs> Mentally, it keeps me more fresher because if you're playing football, you come home you're watching football, you're listening to other people speak about football, it can get too much and it can be like, it can cause you mental problems for sure. Yeah, no uh, psychologist is gonna tell you to focus 100% of your energy yeah. mentally on one thing. Oh, a little bit, a little bit chunky. Let's have a go. All right. Good well, par. Par's never a bad school. But more importantly, one up. Yeah. Gareth goes one up. I am again reminded that my short game is should be should be considered a scandal. It should it should be considered top secret. Don't talk about it. But uh, you know, the great thing about golf, you know, it's like 18 periods. It's like it's like a whole new hole. New problem, new game, new me. When you kick the ball as hard as you can, how fast does the ball go? Do you know miles per hour? We did that thing in when we went to the Adidas lab in Germany. We did, it was, they created a new app. I can't remember, it's probably on YouTube somewhere. I mean, it's gotta be like 70 miles an hour, right? Oh, it's over 100. Over 100? Yeah. That's it's insane. Funny. Yeah, it was... Because <laughs> you're looking for speed, right? Um, yeah, but I think accuracy is probably more important. Right. Because if you go and smash it 100 miles an hour straight at the keeper, yeah, I'd rather hit it 80 miles an hour in the corner. He's got no hope. What's your favorite corner? Are you allowed to tell? <laughs> well, it depends if the goalkeeper's a list. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, I you must have a favorite corner. No, you must yeah. look at a goal and just yeah. like the if, upper, which, yeah, the what? upper right hand, upper side. right, yeah, yeah, upper right. Is I don't like, know why I got that. But you don't get nervous over kicking a penalty shot. <laughs> I, I not I, you obviously get a little bit of nerves, but I get more nervous watching people take a penalty than I actually <laughs> do taking a penalty. <laughs> Because we want to increase our chances of what, Gareth? Ace cam live. <laughs> so we got a bag of balls, and we're going to hit these until we get back to the match, which I'm probably going to lose. In fact, I'm going to start betting against myself. We got all these balls here. Let's go. What club do you have? Pretty too much. This is a slick golf club. P73. How many hole-in-ones do you have? Zero. Do you, do you realize that not only could you get one right now, but you could just get two? It's, it's just a penalty kick. Family. No one's guarding the hole. Look at it. It's so... It's just waiting for you. It's just peaceful waiting for us. This is a very hard pin, actually. It is. It's not giving us a lot. Yeah, right, right next to the bunker there makes it a little hard. It's like if you're a professional golfer, everything's just based off results. They just like goals, they just like assists, they just like wow things. And sometimes that doesn't always happen. That's kind of how 
it is in football and the thing is now everything's based on results. If you go and play terrible but you go and score two goals, oh, 10 out of 10. And it's like, but even when I do that, I play terrible and then I go and score two goals and I'm like, oh, so bad. But then, the, but then you go and like, everyone will go, oh, great game. I'm like, oh, I played so bad. Interesting. From my point of view, I, I, people can have their own opinions. As long as I know I've tried my best and I've played as well as I can, then I'm happy with that. Then we're going to start hitting two at a time, Gareth. Go ahead. It's very strange to go from a match into ace cam, but I'll take it. So just to clarify, Ace Cam is still live. Some people are gonna to wanna to play through in a second and I don't know how to explain in Spanish <laughs> that Ace Cam is live. Big. Right on the stick, a little long. One last one. One more little dig. That's pretty close, three feet. Hey man, well that was fun. Thank you for, thank you for playing. Now, thank you. now back to the match where I'm two down. <laughs> It's kind of like I had a dream within a dream and then I woke up and one of them was actually a nightmare. <laughs> so we're back to that one. Take my bag of balls. All right, folks, so this is potentially the deciding hole of the match. Uh, it's the third hole. Gareth Bale is two up on me. But you know, here's the amazing thing is that on some level, we're, we're not equals, but we are equalized in this realm of golf. Your handicap right now is three or four, he tells me. My handicap is actually four or 20. It's somewhere in between <laughs> that. So, you know, here we are, here we are. What's your swing thought here, G? Um, hit the ball. Okay. <laughs> can we just take a time out there? Only a professional athlete can say something like, uh, hit the ball. For me, I'm, I'm got, I've got seven swing thoughts. Swing thoughts? I thought I was jealous of you before because of all the other stuff, but broken par th six times. Yeah. What was your lowest you've ever gone? Four under. Okay, and where was that? I did it four under here in my course. Um, Lamar Lacken number four. But on some level, I'd imagine that you're a little bit more acquainted with the mental sort of like need to just be in the moment as a professional athlete, right? Yeah, but not with golf. Golf's just a little bit of a different animal. gonna make this fight, so I have to make mine. I'm always putting myself in these situations where I'm wishing I was better at golf. I have to stop playing professional athletes of any sport. From now on, I'm only doing match play with like writers, you know, professional knitters, uh, you know, all you can eat hot dog champions. All right, this is going in though, whether whether you're an athlete or not, Gary, this is going in. Oh, didn't break. I remember when I was younger, I first came through at Southampton, where my first team that I um, made it to the first team. And obviously I was 16 when I made my debut. I just kind of played my first few games and you kind of read the newspaper, you read the match report and you haven't played so well. And it said, oh, you had a terrible game and it, your confidence just goes like, yeah. That and I remember speaking to my mum. She was like, "You shouldn't read. Just don't read anything." Whoa. And just read like books, <laughs> like Darwin. But like, just don't read because everyone has their opinion. Like, you might have played well, not scored. Someone will write a terrible thing, but you might have played terrible, scored, and they write something good. But it's just people's opinions. If you know you've played well, but people maybe think you haven't, I think that's the most important thing as an athlete to know. Probably even, not even an athlete. I mean, even well, for me, yeah, I feel yeah. like. I'm just looking from an athlete's perspective. Sure. But yeah, for sure, in, in any walk of life. It's like Gareth was saying during the podcast. I don't need, I don't, I can't handle the criticism. I'm too sensitive. <laughs> you know, are you a sensitive guy? I am, but I can deal with it. Yeah. 
No, I'm just hella sensitive and I can't but deal with it. But a bad day on the golf course is better than a better day at work. I agree. <laughs> Gareth remains two up with three to play. This looks like a beautiful hole. Do you have like a personal Instagram account just with friends no, and family? No, I don't. I just, have you thought about it? No, I don't. I just. I want you to make time. one of those. Hundred followers, <laughs> private. <laughs> it, would be, it would be nice, but um. What do you got? You got like forty-five million followers on Instagram. Something like that. Yeah. There's, there's, there's millions and millions <laughs> of people. Guys, I hit the fairway. I have a distinct advantage. All of a sudden, I'm beginning to feel like eighty thousand fans are watching me. <laughs> Those trees are like wool, they just drop. They are. I mean, you can get above them, I think, now. Oh, <laughs> that was so perfect. And now I have a shot from, honestly, it's my least favorite shot in the world. Dead center of the fairway on a short par five. I might as well get just straight jacket on. <laughs> I love that shot. Well, you're seeing a lot of the course anyway. <laughs> that is not a compliment, <laughs> folks. <laughs> <laughs> nice play, dude. Oh my god, go in. Wow. Two foot birdie putt. Putting the pressure on. I was always good at like athletic. It was always just sport. Yeah. And every teacher used to go to me, you have to have a, like another plan. I'm like, yeah, no. <laughs> All I want to do is be a professional footballer. I didn't want to, I never planned to try and get to this level, this level. I just wanted to play for Southampton where I was at. I just wanted to be a professional footballer and make it for the first team there. And that was like my goal. And I think I've always got something to kind of keep my motivation and go for. And it's, it's, it's been helpful to me because I think by having a goal, it kind of gives you that motivation to drive to get there. Once you achieve it, you have to set the next one. If you don't set one, it's like you feel a bit lost. Where do I go from here? What do I do? So, right. Yeah, I've always just had those little goals and they've just been getting bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> Who is the athlete that you most admire in the world, any sport? Um, I don't know, LeBron James, whenever I see stuff about him and, and what he does and yeah. Why watch, is that, you think? I just think he puts a lot of time and effort and investment into what he does and yeah, from only from what I've heard and, and maybe seen and stuff, but obviously you hear about what Tiger did, all like the hours of work he did in the gym and on the driving range to put in green. I suppose you get the rewards for what you, you put in really, so. Right. Congratulations. Very well played. Thank you very much. I can safely say now that I've lost to members of many different <laughs> professional sporting leagues, now including football. It's just to be it's a pleasure to play with you. I appreciate it. Thank you, you too.